What's up guys? Welcome back to another interesting tech news update. So now Google is preparing to launch few new products, one of them being the Google's Android TV dongle codenamed Sabrina. Yeah, that's the codename of the TV dongle that Google is trying to launch. It's rumored to be successor to the Google Chromecast Ultra. So basically Google will launch a streaming media device, okay? Now obviously something new they have to bring with the new device or the upgradation, right? So what's new here? It comes with a remote control now, meaning all these years with Google Chromecast it requires a mobile phone right a mobile device to either screencast or to navigate or pretty much do anything you want a mobile device in order to operate the Chromecast now what they have done is it comes with a dedicated remote which is nice in my opinion and it pushes the comfort as well as usability to ease the level right so it will likely feature a IR blaster as well a mic and also dedicated Google assistant button that's the obvious thing when there is something Google you also have the assistant right not sure if it has dedicated Netflix or Amazon Prime button for that matter but it also is planning to revamp its Android user interface for TV itself which is I think nice because if you have the dedicated operating system for the TV then I think the ecosystem will be very nice now they will have something for the TV they will have something for the mobile device and that's how the ecosystem flourishes right so it is also said to be integrated with the Google Nest devices like if you have Nest devices at home you can pretty much control it from the TV or remote itself so that's again convenient to operate or receive alerts from Google ecosystem now it could be priced around 70 dollars not sure about that let's see when it actually launches so what do you guys think of this new Google device code named Sabrina let us know in the comment section down below definitely sounds interesting but only time will tell how it is actually alright guys moving on Samsung launched the M01 as well as the M11 entry level mobile phones priced at around 9000 rupees and 11000 rupees respectively now 9000 rupees phone features a 5.7 inch 720p display with a Snapdragon 439 chipset which is boring and old now it comes with a good 4000 mAh battery now that's what uh, it keeps going for the Samsung and it also has 13 megapixel camera at f2.2 which is okay for the price it also comes with 5 megapixel selfie camera so no fingerprint sensor for the M01 device right if you just want the Samsung device then consider this otherwise I would say skip and look at other options from Realme as well as Redmi on the other hand the M11 right there is another device M11 for 11,000 rupees it also seems quite reasonable because it has got 5000 million battery there is Samsung branding name to it and it also has 13 megapixel at f1.8 aperture camera it comes with 5 megapixel ultra wide camera and also 8 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera look at other options if you don't want that if you just want a Samsung phone then this makes sense at this price point so will you buy it or not actually so let me know in the comment section down below of the video itself all right guys moving on another interesting exciting news is oneplus Z or rather oneplus Z you can say it's spotted on Geekbench with model number a AC2003 meaning there is something oneplus device that's going to be launched very soon the listing suggests that a whopping 12 GB RAM it has got 12 GB RAM which is insane and it probably comes with a Snapdragon 765G chipset which is awesome performer for mid-range to high-end phones now it could also feature a 120 Hz display not sure yet but there will be obviously an option to a 90 Hz display as well 90 Hz refresh rate to save some battery and an AMOLED display as well so these are the rumors that's going on regarding the camera department it could possibly feature a triple rear camera setup which is typical these days there is nothing fancy over here but still you have a oneplus device with 12 gb ram so we will see about the pricing very curious thing is with the pricing itself for a 12 gb ram phone and that could actually set the benchmark for some huge um, or rather some high-end phones and then 12 gb could become the norm for upcoming phones so what do you guys think about this one let me know in the comment section down below and lastly guys according to the latest idc report now this one is interesting wearable shipments in india during january to march period grew by over 80 percent as compared to same period last year which means a whopping demand for the variables is seen here in india so what variable did you guys buy this year let's know in the comment section down below like uh, did you buy the watch did you buy the wristband or even the earbuds the total units shipped for that period stood at around 42 lakh units the variable category includes wristbands, earbuds and earbuds and even watches as well. So obviously with the increased work from home and less activity, the wristband sales stood at 10 lakh units, wristband alone. 
while with many other earbuds launch the earwear shipment stood at 30 lakh units while the watches had only 2 lakh units now here it suggests that the crowd is getting excited about the earwares right there are obviously the wireless ones and also the wired ones and even the gaming headphones are becoming quite popular so as you can clearly see the demand for the earwear in india is immense also people are getting aware of uh, the use of wristband to keep track of their daily physical activity uh, which is quite good uh, so yeah guys these were some of the interesting tech news for today give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of uh, videos and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you are new to my channel i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye